Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Digre and today we continue our entry level to Mega Base series. And uh, let's just go up and start to fix uh, some of our issues with the iron. Um, what's it called? Our mall is using quite a bit of items right now, so um, we'll have to make sure we don't uh, forget to upgrade the the inputs as we go. So right now I'm just going to steal a few items here and there, and uh, then we're quite good. We also need to activate this one. But uh, for now it's fine with these lower tier ones. They will supply with everything we need. Let's grab this, and we could probably start to upgrade to red belts, at least on the inside. So let's just bring along a few of these. There we are. That should be fine. So uh, that could be a good chance to upgrade at least the inside of our um, iron belt. Just to increase the throughput a small amount. And then we can start to uh, to fix some more. But uh, let's see here. The issue is we're definitely not having enough iron flowing in. That is pretty much because we are splitting it two ways up here. So a way to solve this until uh, until we have more production coming out of here is pretty much give this a small upgrade. And as you know, these move 30 items per second. This one moves 15 per second. So one red in to a red splitter will pretty much mean that it can supply uh, enough. To be honest, one yellow would also supply enough right here. So the issue is kind of split up here, that's uh, limiting us. But to future-proof ourselves a bit, let's just uh, hook it all up nice and easily. And then right here is actually where the big bottleneck is in terms of uh, input. So this is the culprit that we need to fix. And make sure that everything here is up to snuff. There we are, you can go here put here please so we can at least get the uh, full lines throwing down so with a full red going in that should mean that we if that is full should be able to get a full red or not a full red here but a full yellow going in here so it should start to back up and that is exactly what we're seeing that means we should get its reach all the way down to the bottom and that is exactly what I want to see right now so let's also hook up some more things right here and now that i'm looking at this one of the things we need to set up at the mall is uh, also some more miners since uh, we need a bit more to uh, to get this to work perfectly so a good way to get this out if we just want to grab a bit more stone do we go into landfill is let's just hook this up and get it removed there we are and we need to activate some more science. And we still can't go into chemical. We need to go grab some oil for that. But we can grab all of the star items. Could grab a bit of the state uh, train things, just so we can get that set up. And we can get some stack inserter bonus. Gives one to non-stack and one to stack. So that's gonna help a bit in, uh, in terms of a throughput further down the line. So this is going fine. We're pretty much collecting everything we can from here right now. And uh, we probably have to go and look for some more quite soon. Let's just add one radar to this area so we can explore a bit. Hopefully we can, uh, can find some good things around here. That would uh, be very much obliged. But uh, right now we pretty much just need the miners. And... Uh, I kind of forgot it, forgot to get him, so we'll just have to hook it up like this for now, and then I'll go down and set it up in the mall, and continue. We also need to do a copy paste of this one to make a second line, so pretty much steal this part down to here, and just plunk it down right here, very easily, and it fits in perfectly and shouldn't have any issues at all other than we are using uh, small electric poles. 
So that is most definitely something we will have to uh, to fix in the future. So let's go down and set up some uh, miners. As we've seen so many times before, that is uh, a quite simple setup to do. This one is safe for something else. This one is safe for rails. So we could probably just do it right here uh, without any issues. So let's just set it up right away so we can get some production going without me having to worry about it. We can always move it in the future if you want, but uh, for now, this is completely fine. There we go. That one in and add these things to it. Here comes the, uh, what's called, gears, if we are still producing enough. Going down here and jumping. Might not need it, just doing this. Please grab some gears in. And then we just need these two. And those, we don't even need to split in here. We can pretty much just steal them with a long handed this way, let's say right here, and a normal one, there we are. So now we're actually crafting electric mining drills down here. We'll just have to uh, make sure that we're producing enough back here as well. And all this one is needing to activate is just a bit of steel. So let's do our normal setup for getting steel in here. Pretty much just doing here to there. This one can still get the green circuits, but now we can just do that and jump it in. There we are. So that's the simple machine Mark II. I'll just add a few over here. So uh, as soon as we have the miners to support it, we can uh, upgrade things. And I completely forgot we already upgraded it. Oh well, no harm, no foul. And there you can go in here and I'll steal those. Yeah, so that is good. Things are flowing quite, quite nicely. Pretty much all that's holding us back is the gears, and that is just because we are running out of iron at a surprisingly quick pace. So let's just craft quite a few of these so we can set up more. And then we might have to get a car as well. Don't think we can make it yet, but we should be able to research it. And then we can go explore and find the things we need, set up a rail network, and uh, be on our merry way. So let's see here. Oil, we have a small amount up here. We might be able to, uh, to get into the base. We'll run that along the main line as well, just to be nice and orderly about it. And uh, other than that, hopefully we can find some out here. That would be a lot easier to manage. But if not, we might just take some trains to pipe it back to the base. So iron is our issue. Not the big of an issue, but it is an issue nonetheless. So while we wait for things to craft, let's just set up another column for our Iron. Oh, that was a bad place to put it. There we are. Right here. Do we have enough in surface? We do. most definitely don't. But we can start to put in some of them. And then we could actually also take out all the, what's called, small power poles, upgrade them to medium, just so we can see big increase. So one way to remove power poles from these is if you take a deconstruction planner, or like to whitelist small extra power poles. That means that we can now drag it across right here and remove all the blueprint at once, just like that. And then we can put in the medium ones and they can cover a lot more area. So I think we can actually do it with just two like this than one on the side. That looks a lot cleaner. So this instead is actually 
all we need. There we are. So now that's all powered, we just need to add things in. And I might as well set this up, even though it's not that necessary right now, since uh, we don't have the input. But uh, then we have it future-proofed a bit. There we are, red belt. Hook you up. And get this one filled down. There we are. So the last thing I need is pretty much just go to our mall, grab more inserters, and then we are quite good. So let's fill up this with more miners and see if we can't tap into this entire area. That would be quite good if we could. So you can go from here all the way down, merge in this way, and I think if we just merged onto this one, it'll be fine as long as we use red belts, or red. There we are. That goes into red, goes into red, goes into red. And then the only thing that might be limiting us a bit is uh, this one, in case we have more coming in than uh, it can output out. A way to solve that is doing a little switchy thing like this. There we are. And we can do the same here just to make completely sure. So that's pretty much balancing uh, this so uh, we don't have jams on one side of the belt. So let's hook up the rest of this. We do have a few more of these power poles. Let's just use them. I know other ones are a bit better, but... There we are. That is activated. So let's go around, pick up the ones that are not in use anymore, and then relocate them to a better area. Just a few more over here will be fine. Uh, where is it? There now. Oh, and we ran out of green circuits. Um. I think it fits in right here, something like that. So let's get the rest of these miners down and get this going. Um, oh, we have a small patch here as well. We could probably clear out like that. And then we'll do a few up this way. And a few from over here. That should cover most of it if we just line it up now there we go so uh, let's merge things in to be honest we could move this down one just to make room for it to go through even though that we can't really support it on our main line right now we can in uh, a little while so let's just merge this in so we have a few oh that's not going to work in terms of merge uh, we'll go the other way instead then. Then it didn't really matter that we moved it. But let's just go this way up. And take it down this way. So that means we have tapped all of our iron potential right here. That also means that we'll have to go look for uh, more iron, pa iron patches in the future. So we don't run out of resources. Because that would be quite bad. Let's just get that taken as well. Uh, there we are. And the last power pole connects up. So that means we have a full red belt coming out or going out at the moment. And hopefully that can supply us with most of what we need. Let's just continue this one over. So if we add one splitter right here and connect it over this way, we can start to hook up the next one as well. There we are. There we have the coal coming in. Now we just need to go grab some more resources, well, resource burn inserters, so we can call, uh, connect up the left side of the uh, thing as well. Let's just remove some of these power poles in the way and get it into our balancer. So there we are. Now we can start to use a bit more of this. 
Um, a good thing to do when you're splitting things off like this is to do an upper priority to the right. But then you can just add a second one right here. So you'll pull from two belts, meaning that it'll always do a full build out, even if one side can't support it. In theory, we can do the same here. As you can see, it might not support at all, but just putting in one more, that will, uh, will solve that issue. And of course, do the same one more up if you want from all four belts. So um, let's just upgrade our little belt with that down the line to make sure at least where it's important. That being right here is where that is very, very needed. So upwards to right. Please add in another splitter right here, upwards to here. And look at that, all of a sudden we have a full belt. And I might want to do this and add a few more. So let's make sure that we always have a full belt going in here before it continues on. And that is, uh, as you can see, now it starts to flow through here again, since we have more than enough coming from all of them. And that's a really, really uh, strong thing to do. Let's do the same setup down here. That will solve our issue with not enough iron coming through right here. It's upwards right. Let's add one, two, three, connect them up. And now we have a full iron belt going out this way. We have full iron belt skull out here. And uh, that way we can use the two belts coming in up top without having to worry. At least as long as we have enough throughput. So let's grab the inserters. We'll need a stack more of those. Probably grab some inserters as well. Oh, not inserters, some mining drills. We can haven't hooked this one up yet. So that's probably one of the next things we do. And we have more than enough of these. So let's change this one around right here. So this one, get this one away. And then uh, we are looking quite, quite good. So what is the next thing we should go for? We should start to set up the chemical plants and the um, pump jacks so we can start to get our oil. That is needed so we can activate our chemical science production. And that is kind of the next thing we should go for. So uh, let's just set up crafting for these three things. Uh, on this one, I'll probably merge in the bricks as well. So we have both on the same line. And that should be quite easy to do. If we just jump this one to here might be good enough. Might have to jump this one as well, and then do a little splitty thing right here, making this one go around this way and in. That will also mean that we'll have to do a little jump here for whatever we have on the outside. So that means bricks, stone flowing in, and then we can start to set up the next part of, uh, of these. So we don't have to make those in a few minutes when we'll start to get our, um, our oil in. Let's see, let's get some fluid wagons in case we want to transport the oil by, by train. But we could also just transport them in by pipe. That could also be an easy, easy way to do it. Uh, let's see here, anything else we want to get out? Oh, maybe start to research the solar. So we can start to get some power armor, among other things. Military, this one. And let's go into modular armor. So we can increase our movement speed. So as we're looking here, still need to fix the landfill. So um, we should probably set up some production for that way back at the start instead of doing it down here, just grabbing from this belt. Since it only throughputs, uh, what's it called? Seven and a half right now. Upgrading to red belts, we can get 15 in. This needs 20. So um, we'll only be able to port like one a second, or barely one a second. So yeah, we'll have to put it somewhere else where we can get a, a full red belt supplying. So if we run into an 
a stone patch somewhere, that'll be good. Luckily we found some more iron right here that we can funnel up here with probably a few trains would be the way to go. But at least all of this is filled up. So we have rails. Let's just activate that so we can get trains up and running. This is also the reason why I did it right here. You can do this. Limit you to a stack. Could in theory just use a long head inserter. But uh, this is good enough for now. And then we need to get the iron in. Not steel, sorry. And we need to get the stone. So let's just do that some easy way. First things first, let's just move this back a bit. Then we can do something in here. Might want to move this back one to give ourselves a bit more room to uh, to sort this out. There and there. And then we can actually split in this one now. If we jump this one more time, we just jump all the way. Like to do another split right here. Supplying the steel for down here. Here to there and one belt. Please input that. And then the stone from the opposite side. It's luckily enough very, very easy to get in. There we are. Getting you up and running and moving in to get rails automated. Uh, it does take a bit of time to set this up, but in the long run, it's uh, a very, very important thing to get done since uh, it is needed for so many things going forward. So it's quite, quite a good uh, investment. Just let's just get ourselves. Let's get ourselves a whole row. We need quite a bit. And this one out. So there we are. That means that this is automated. Let's throw in new. So the bottleneck is not this one. That means that most of this can just run now. Might have to get all of them blue ones. So rails being made. That is good. We'll have to make some engines as well. Just to be able to make things. And those we should pretty much just set up right here. That's because we have the pipes running uh, down this line. Um, let's add these two down here somewhere. Here is those. Please make engines. One in. Gives us two of the things we need. And then we just need the steel. That we haven't really moved to this side yet. So let's just merge in the steel. We did a little switchy roofing up here. And we could probably do somewhat of the same right here. Without that much of a problem. So here to there. Here to here. And then right here we're merging them together. Might have to do it one further up in terms of merging. But that doesn't really... That's not really that big of a deal. So what if we just merge it like... Here. Then we will need to. We can pretty much just jump this part. Let's go get some more belts. Oh, not belts, but undergrounds. Uh, that has stopped producing because it probably deactivated something. Oh, yeah. Whoops. I removed an inserter. Don't ever do that. And now we have to handcraft them. But that means we can hook up or copper and steel going in here, doing the same uh, process of building. So jump here to so just down here for now. Then we'll have steel coming in. Kind of need to do it here. And iron on oh, this one in right here. And I'm going to show you a neat trick. If you haven't done it before, you can do something called belt weaving. 
So as you can see, let's just jump these so we have some room to show you. If this is the correct spot to do it, who knows? Two right there. Then we would like to take one steel from right here. And then we'll take it down this way. In here, and then we can do a belt weave. Because if you try to do two of the same kind, they connect up to each other. But if you take a fast underground, for example, you can then jump across and do double undergrounds. And that way we can still merge things up somewhat nicely, even though this is starting to look like a bit of a mess. It's not as bad as it looks. Because as you see right here, we can still get everything to go through just as we want. Two and three. There we are. So that means we have all the things on our main bus that we want for now. Gonna be quite excited to see how we fit in the red circuits. Or advanced circuits when we get to that. But for now at least this solves some of our problems. Let's grab these while they continue to produce. And then we can just activate our little engine production. There we go. Jump, jump. Add in a long handed right here. And there we go. That is all our engines being made. So I'll just chug along, use some resources for us, and then everything is looking quite good in our area here. Let's just get rid of some of all this copper we have, if it's used anywhere. Not really at the moment. So we might just go up here and drop them in. So what is the next thing we want to hook up? We're quite close to having trains. That means we can start to move in the oil if you want to. Maybe output it. Oh, getting the train station in somewhere up here. Piping the oil into uh, the main bus. Or just getting it in from outside the or ranger. We still have to decide where we want to put our train station. And let's just get some uh, radar coverage down here as well. It's always nice to have. And if you look on the minimap, this shows uh, where you have radar coverage already. So maybe splitting it over here somewhere might be quite good in terms of getting the coverage we need. So right here could be good, a bit of power. Same range just to make it look good. And power is still holding strong. So that means that now we can see our entire base from, I was about to say space, but from map view. And uh, oh, we have to go fix our coal. So last thing this episode is pretty much just us setting up the rest of our coal production. Because if we ran out of coal, that will cripple us for a while, and that would not be good. Uh, here's some more copper for you, please. And more for you. And then this is just chucking along nicely. Giving us a bit of progress at uh, all the time. And we pretty much need to fix this as well. Everything's kind of lopsided at the moment. Here we go. And that one. So now we just need to activate the rest of our coal right here. Minus. Let's go all the way up. I think that will be fine.
and continue up this way. We'll probably have to watch our stone a bit, since that will most definitely be merged. And uh, luckily we can easily solve that. There we are. Uh, one of the good things about using um, medium power poles instead of uh, wood is that they can reach across this gap. So you don't have to worry about uh, them going other ways. So as soon as you can go to these, they are quite good for that single reason. Oh, that's one of the reasons why it's good. And let's get the rest. Oh, we can just get that. There we are. And you can jump to right here. So let's hook this up. It can go into our little setup down here. We just have to remember to filter out whatever uh, we have going wrong right now. Here we go. Let's dismantle this and make it a bit easier to do. Let's get... There we are. Let's get this as well. To here. And let's merge these up. Let's get some new belt, uh, not new belts, but new power poles, since this one is a bit in the way. There we are. So we need to m do two things here. We need to get the coal connected up. We need to get the stone flowing somewhere else. So the easiest way to do that is pretty much to do pretty much stone out over here instead. Upward to the right, filter out stone. That means the stone can never go through this one. It means we can just get sto stone this way back up to uh, to whatever we have running here. But since it can jam up, we'll have to make sure that doesn't happen. So this could actually just go into a landfill. Just to <laughs> get rid of it. Uh, since Oh, the reason why I'm doing that is if you connect it up to here and this one jams, as it is right now, that'll jam our coal line as well. And that is not good. So this is a good way to get rid of it. Or we can do another quite cool thing. Though that needs means we'll have to remove this. Yeah, we'll need the landfill. So let's, let's do another thing. Let's just remove these and I'll show you what I've planned. Oh, these are done as well. There we are. So what I actually want here is an upper priority, both sides to the left. But if that is full, you are allowed to go up this way. And then this can be our landfill area. Just getting it out here somewhere. Making uh, it can support one and a half. So let's just set that up like this and get a few in and change these this way to uh, grab from down here, whatever we output from this one. I think this will work. If not, we'll know soon enough. But that should solve our stone issue of backing up by just getting it to go here and make landfill. This one takes from over here, takes that out, and we should never fill up. And two chests. There we are. So that solved our uh, issue with um, the stone. And it will give us the landfill we need, and it will never output up here unless it's full. So that's actually exactly what we want. Starting to clear this out. Ooh, and we have some stone in this line as well. We'll have to sort out. Luckily, that is, again, quite easy to do. So if we merge this one in, and merge this one in, we can then get our stone to go back the other way. Or take this one over here and merge into this one. That could actually be an easier solution. So please go this way. Do a red pretty much mix. 
input port to from the right, just to empty this side out first since that is uh, what's mixed, and then go back this way and hook up the rest over here together with this one. So let's see here. Merge you. Let's do a little balancer on it. There we are. And go down this way. Merging. Oh, splitting one more time into uh, what's going for this one and what's going to our. What's it called? Of what's called boilers. So that's looking quite good. I think this one should be running now without any issues. Might have to give this a little upgrade so it doesn't slow it down. But uh, there we are. This should take everything we can throw at it. And take all this, this out. The, what's called covers running as well. And as soon as this one is full, we'll start to output this way. Get what's called call back in this array. And uh, then we'll be running quite good. So um, I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you'll give me a like and subscribe. It helps me more than you know. And it might not matter a lot to you, but it means a whole lot to me. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Degray, and I'll see you next episode. Bye.